Before the likes of Aziz Ansari, Russell Peters, and Veer Das, there was Papa CJ. The comedian performed to a sold out crowd at Caroline's on Broadway last week. Now, pre show, we learned two things stand up is his first love and why he loves to strip on stage. I had never seen stand-up comedy until three months before I started doing it. I went to the Edinburgh Festival and I saw this guy on stage and I just thought, wow, I mean, here's a guy on stage talking rubbish and that's his job. And I thought, this is fantastic. I threw up my job within three months time I was on stage and I did 250 shows in my first 10 months and I never looked back. How excited all the American comedians were. They were like, oh my God, 10 million people watch this program. I was like, dude, I come from India. If I open my bathroom window, 10 million people will show up live. <laughs> Every time I get on stage, I'm just so excited. There's nowhere in the world I would rather be than on stage. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm in the happiness business, not the comedy business. So for me to be on a stage and make people laugh, oh, it's, a, it's, it's a blessing to be able to be in a profession like that. Do you know in Singapore it is illegal for you to urinate in an elevator? Right? How did you come up with this law? Like how many people were doing it on a regular basis? Right? I've never walked into a lift and said, oh sir, what button should I press for you? No, no, I've just come here to take a piss. <laughs> it's bits, bits of both. Of course, you have some material that is pre-planned. But I'm the kind of comedian who's completely flexible. If something happens in the room, I will get into that conversation. There are times where in a one hour show, I've done 10 minutes of jokes pre-planned, but the other 50 minutes is just me chatting with the audience. If you were flying Kingfisher business class, Yogi, an air hostess will come and offer to clean your glasses. But I didn't know this. So I'm sitting on this business class seat, this gorgeous air hostess walks up towards me with a tissue in her hand. Yeah. She says, sir, would you like me to clean your spectacles? Exactly. Cabin pressure, I did not hear the word spectacles. <laughs> I don't know what happened to you, sir. <laughs> but it's pretty embarrassing when you're standing in business class with your pants around your ankles saying, Give me the Kingfisher experience! <laughs> this is a club that has been headlined by Robin Williams, Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, and they've invited me to headline their club. Um, I am honored and humbled to be in that group of people. I mean, I heard a song the other day by Eminem. These are the words. Tell me if you've heard this song. I ain't never seen an ass like that. The way you shake it makes my pee pee go doing, doing, doing. If my dad ever gave my mom a song that said, I ain't never seen an ass like that, she would smack him so hard, his pee pee would never go doing, doing, doing. For me, Chris Rock and George Carlin are my one and two. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a huge fan of Russell Peters purely because he's such a nice, large-hearted guy. And in my opinion, no matter how famous or fantastic you are, if you can't be humble and if you can't be kind and good to others, it doesn't matter. Nowadays, people go out to take photographs of themselves looking like they're having a good time. Right? You can be at the most boring party ever. Five guys will get together, take this photograph, stick it up on Facebook and say, Oh my God! Sorry, OMG! Right? Last night was epic. I do not understand the use of the phrase epic. The Ramayan was an epic. The Iliad was an epic. The Odyssey was an epic. You going out and getting passed out in a pool of your own piss is not epic. Buy a ticket and come for the next show. If you didn't get one this time, you missed out. Bad luck. Naming your child is a very special experience. And when you name your child, you learn valuable lessons. The biggest lesson is you should never ask your friends for advice when you name your child. Because your friends are bastards. Right? I told a friend, oh, if I have a daughter, I thought I'd call her Priyanka. Priyanka! I had a friend called Priyanka. She was a <laughs> I would not be so arrogant to say I'm at the top of the game. I think you just have to be at the top of your own game. Okay. That's what matters. It's like, a, it's like golf, I suppose. You're not trying to beat somebody else. You're just trying to be the best that you can possibly be. That's the attitude I think one should have. Divorce should be sponsored by Gillette. <laughs> Divorce by Gillette, the best a man can get.